Hey, dude, I just came to check out the. Ow! What the hell was that? Oh, that's my new DeVos security system. And why do we need this? Are you kidding me? We got a play button here. We have to protect it from unsavory types. So can you turn it off? I'll tell you what, Grant. I'll turn it off when my name is on the play button. Do you have any idea how hard it was just to get that one? Well, you better get to it then. Can you just turn- In the meantime, I'm gonna polish this up real good. You're a douche. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learn, the show dedicated to learn you some filmmaking and learn you good. And yes, we're finally back to the DeVoe prison effect, but I feel like I should still put up some requests, so here's the request for this week. So unsurprisingly, a bunch of you asked for a DeVoe prison effect. So guys, that's what we're doing today. Now in order to complete this effect, firstly, you need to shoot your actor or yourself just walking into a room and pretending to butt up against something. Now you can film this on whatever camera angle you want because it's really easy to make this a 3D effect. Antifreeze. Now you'll also need to head to filmlinen.com slash downloads and grab the DeVoe Prison Effect Pack, which contains, you guessed it, a project file for the DeVoe Prison Effect. If that wasn't already obvious. Now hang on a second I hear you say, what about the sound effects? Well our good old buddy the blast has come through yet again, there is a link in the description to a DeVoe prison effects sound effects pack. That was a mouthful, but it's down in the description, you can download that and then we're all good to go. So let's get to work shall we? Now for those of you out there that have CS6, I have not forgotten you. I've actually rendered out a QuickTime movie file of the entire prison effect, so you can just drag and drop that into your footage as well. So you're welcome CS6 users, I'm still thinking of you. Okay guys, here we are in After Effects, I've got my shots set up in a comp and all ready to go. Now gang, the best part about this effect is that I've already done all the hard work, really. If we check out the download pack and open up the comp called Prison Base, you can see I've built the entire prison grid in 4K and I've actually gone along and masked out a whole bunch of little solid circles to make it look a bit more like a fence, you know, like on the show. And I've done that in glorious 4K. And if we open up the comp called Electrical Hit, you'll see that I've also hand animated our electrical shock here all frame by frame. Now if we open up the comp marked Prison, you'll see that I've combined the two comps. Now what I've done here is, is I've got a scaled up version of the electrical hit set to stencil alpha, which as you can see, masks our prison grid to only show up around the border of our electrical hit and just sort of fade off. Pretty cool, huh? No masking required whatsoever. I highly encourage you guys to have a play with this comp too. I'm sure you can have some fun playing with these settings, but for now, the hard work is done. So let's get on to compositing this thing. Let's head to our original comp containing our actor footage and from there let's grab our prison comp from the project menu and drop it in and change the transfer mode to screen. Let's then queue it up to when our actor pretends to smack his face. Mm, there we go. Now from there I'm going to scale it down since it's huge. 56% uh, looks pretty good to me. I might also adjust the position so that it hits right on the sweet spot on my face. Nice. Okay, so we have it in place. Now let's blend it in. Firstly, I'm not 100% happy with the color. It's a bit too orange, so let's fix that. We'll head up to effect, color correction, and grab ourselves a hue and saturation. I might set the hue to say minus eight, and then I might up the saturation to around 18. Much better. From there, let's duplicate that by hitting Ctrl D. I might then adjust the hue on this one to around minus 23, just to give it a bit more red. Finally, I'm gonna head to Effect, Blur and Sharpen and add myself a fast box blur. Let's then crank that to around 45. That'll give us a nice bit of glow fall off. Now gang, I'd like to add a little displacement to our actor footage, just to sell the illusion that we've hit kind of a force field. So firstly, let's head to our bottom prison layer, right click and pre-compose it, making sure all those attributes are added to a new composition, and then we'll change the transfer mode once again back to screen. There we go. From there, let's add a new adjustment layer. And let's make sure it's sitting below our effects and on top of our footage. 
Next, let's head to Effect, Distort, and grab Displacement Map. We'll set the source to our bottom prison layer, and then set the max horizontal and max vertical both to 30. I'm then going to set the Displacement Map behavior to Stretch to Fit. We'll then hit the stopwatch on both. There we go. Let's then scrub along the timeline until we reach the end of our prison effect animation and set them both down to zero. Basically, what this is going to do is give our displacement a strong start and then it's just going to fade away slowly, a bit like a ripple. Now for all intents and purposes guys, the effect is done as far as screen accuracy goes. But you saw the beginning sketch and I had some sparks in there just uh, sparking off the prison. Now these are all from Action VFX 4K Spark Hits Collection. You can pick these up at actionvfx.com and if you use the code FILMLEARN you're going to get 10% off your purchase. But as I said guys this is just a cherry on top but I found that it added a bit more depth to the effect. So if you want to pick these up from Action VFX or say you have your own spark assets by all means Add them to the prison comp right here, just like I've done and am doing on screen right now. You'll notice that I've also added two versions of each spark as well. Now the second iteration basically just has a fast blur on top to give our spark asset a subtle glow. But like I said guys, you can either add the sparks or not. It's totally up to you. But for now, that is another effect. Oh, I almost forgot that one final thing. How to make these things look like they're in a three-dimensional space to match any camera angles that aren't front on. Well, that's pretty easy, guys. All you have to do is make both of those comps 3D, and then just rotate them in 3D space to match a camera angle. It's really that easy. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. Hey, dude, I just came to check out the... Ow! What the hell was that? So guys, that's my take on the Debeau prison effect from The Flash. I know it's not 100% screen accurate because I didn't really dig the original Debeau prison effect, so I just sort of added my own spice on top. Hope that's okay. But as always guys, I hope you enjoyed it. That is my time. If you did enjoy the episode, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it. We're gonna be back with a whole bunch of new effects next week. So stay tuned for that. Now, before I close this one out guys, I just wanna mention that we do have a Patreon page and these people on screen right now have joined the Wall of Awesome and supported Film Learning on Patreon. If you'd like to come aboard and help support the show, there is a link down in the description. There is a whole bunch of tiers that I've just put up and hopefully you'll find something you like. But for now guys, our time has come to an end. If you want to subscribe, you can click that button right there and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single film learning episode. I've got two other episodes right over here. I've probably got a playlist up here. And as always, our social media crap is above my head. And until I see you again guys, make sure you keep learning and maybe check out the merch store. New t-shirts in there.